end but how will these overnight queues impact our own markets we have our research team joining in to tell you just that what is the trade setup looking like the stocks that are likely to be in the news and the action from the fno space as well hey guys a very good morning to all of you happy monday uh hormaz let me come to you first up is it looking like a good monday for the bulls uh not exactly and you could say on the flip side that it is slightly better than what was feared considering the sell off that you saw in the us on friday not that friday session here itself was any better to begin with and that led to the nifty closing below the mark of 25000 for the first time since late of august and it was also the first weekly loss that the index had in the last 4 weeks the what led to those losses well it was reliance industries that is seeing this continued profit booking all through last week but added pressure came from the financials whether it be sbi or the selling pressure seen in other large private banks like icici and axis and that showed up on the nifty bank as well almost a 1000 point drop on the nifty bank the psu bank index courtesy the fall in sbi ended 4% lower was the top sectoral loser in friday's trading session which brings us to the two most important questions for the day that if in case we do open gap up today a uh, gap down today sorry will we find a support at lower level say around 24750 or if that does not happen then how far do we go down the second big question is with the nasdaq that the sell off that we saw in the nasdaq on friday will that impact our it stocks here itself because the nifty it over the last one month is up 10% so it will be interesting to see what kind of moves we see in the IT names and of course the financials as we spoke about will that underperformance continue the nifty bank was testing 52000 for a better part of last week now is down to levels of 5500 so it'll be interesting to see where the financials go and of course the flurry of ipos that are set to hit the market this week will that impact the flows into the market and move into ipos as well as we said three ipos open for subscription today gala is listing and of course the gst council meet in new delhi today so lots to keep an eye out for the gift nifty so far is suggesting a negative start for our own markets Looks like a busy day today. Uh, thank you so much, Armaz, for joining in with all those cues. Uh, but a lot of stocks that'll be on our radar as well. Abhishek Kothari is joining us with that list. Ah uh, well, to begin with JSW Energy, they have issued corporate guarantee of about uh, rupees 450 crore for JSW Energy Utkala, uh, that is a subsidiary of the company. And in exchange, they get uh, they have got an order worth 168 crore from uh, Tech uh, Nimont uh, SPA Italy. Uh, Z Learn uh, Himanshu Yaknik resigns as the COO of the company effective uh, September 6. Majgaon Dong, uh, they have got an order worth uh, 1486 crore from ONGC. Uh, Hexaver Technologies they have filed a, a DRHP for an IPO of 9950 crores Suven Pharma they uh, US FDA has uh, given an EIR over there uh, for the manufacturing facility of uh, Arm Casper Pharma uh, the, uh, they have classified the inspection as Y and deemed it as close as well Geo Financial Services company and BlackRock Advisors Singapore have incorporated uh, a joint venture uh, which is called BlackRock Investment Advisors. is a private limited back to you okay all right so those are some stocks that will be on our radar today but a lot of cues from the fno space going to be a crucial trading day mangalam is joining in now good morning mangalam good morning so you know if you look at the way the markets uh, behaved on friday it would tell you that there was a firm sell off but thankfully i was on leave for the last two weeks as were you uh, so what distance does is gives you some sense of perspective and if you look at just the last two weeks the market hasn't changed much the nifty actually is up by about 30 odd points the nifty bank is down by 0.7% and that's exactly you know how it has been underperforming the mid cap index by and large even stevens but small cap index has actually risen by 1% so that's telling you the way the markets have behaved on friday itself the nifty uh, you know in the index futures the fi so selling of 3100 crores the unwound around 37000 long contracts added about 10000 short contracts and as a result of which their net exposure is at 65% remember when the week the market was rising the exposure increased from 52% all the way up to 72% whereas in the week that the market fell the exposure fell from 72% to 65% as well so it was basically a case of excesses going up and excesses coming down as well who is it that bought and sold the fii buying and selling well between august 23 and august 30th when the fii's were buying the clients were selling their net position in decreased from 52% to 40% and when the fii's were selling all of last week it was the clients the hni is smart investors for the near term who were buying increased their exposure from 40% to 49%. That brings us to what happens to the market now. The Gift Nifty is indicating a cut. 
The Nifty 20 day moving average will be our first level of support. And on the way up, the fifth, uh, if below, down, below that, we'll have 24,600, which will be a further support as well. On the way up, 25,000 remains to be a bit of a congestion zone. That's where a lot of call writers are active. At the lower level, maybe some support around 24,750, given the put writing that we've seen at 24,850 as well. The Nifty Bank, the 100 day moving average is 50,241. That's an important uh, you know, level to watch out for. On the way up, though, the 50-day moving average, uh, rather the 20-day moving average, will be a bit of a resistance. Uh, just keep an eye on one stock today, Marico. All of last week, some of the FMCG stocks have been doing well. Marico actually underperformed because of the Bangladesh concerns. But now, maybe the street is looking past that. We saw some fresh long positions being added with a 3% up move on Friday as well. Okay, all right. So that is the FNO setup. Thank you guys for joining in and prepping us up for this crucial trading day ahead.